Hello everybody, this is Eric from r32media.com. This is part two in a continuing series of uh, tutorials that we're going to show you how to set up VidBlaster for uh, streaming and also for um, recording video podcasts directly on your stream that you don't necessarily stream that you could upload to YouTube uh, and get really top, basically HD quality content. So sometimes when you stream uh, depending on your internet connection, then the the quality is not that good. So if you want to get the best best connection, not connection, best uh, quality video, sometimes it's, it's better to do your show locally, record locally using Vidcaster, one of Vidcaster's mod modules called the recording module, and then at a later date, once you finish post processing it, you can actually upload it to YouTube and get an you know. 1080p quality video out of it, so it's 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 a really powerful program. But in this show, this um second tutorial in our series, we're just going to show you the simple things like how to add cameras. And what we're going to do today is we're going to add two cameras and one video effect. So basically, one camera will be set up for a screencast. The second camera will be set up with a web camera, and the video effect will do a picture-in-picture -picture of the two. So let's go ahead and get started. I've made the VidBlaster uh, program here as blank as possible. So from here, we're going to add some modules. And the first thing we're going to do is add Camera 1 module. So you go to the Modules tab, Add, and then you click Camera. See, it adds a module here. Let's just drag it down to make it uh, any place you like, but I kind of like it right below the, the view. And the first thing I'm going to do is I want to add the desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Screen Capture. You notice there's many selections. I have a lot of uh, Minicam, which is virtual software, webcam software. I have Logical HD, which is my webcam. Then there's Google has some. There's another screen capturing. And you can also add IP in Internet Protocol Camera. But for now, let's just focus on screen capture. So go ahead and click on screen capture. And once we've added this, we can transition. But it's, it's kind of weird what we have here. Uh, showing up on our window here and that's basically because I have it set up to capture a certain area of the screen so in order to control what it captures you right click on the just on the module here and you go down to capture so you can capture a selected area uh, select the area one by one four by three sixteen by nine or full screen so I'm going to click full screen and now we're capturing the full screen here and you can see I have my uh, Camtasia recorder here and then this is the VidBlaster software here window okay so that's pretty cool we, we've set up one full screen but now let's go ahead and uh, capture a selected area so what we're gonna do is right click again go to capture and click selected area now it turns white so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna capture this little gadget here that shows my CPU and my memory use so now look we have just that area there so you can see that this can be very powerful and uh, especially and highly recommended that, that you run multiple monitor set up so at least two monitors well two monitors is probably good enough uh, other people like Brian Brushwood from um, uh, what's his site shwood.com he ha actually has three or four monitors off of running off of one computer and what this allows is you can capture multiple areas of multiple screens and each of these camera modules can be one little area like a Skype call or a web browser or a video you know anything you can do all kinds of stuff so it's very very powerful uh, let's see so I'm gonna go ahead and change it back to full screen on the capture so screen capture right click and we'll go down to capture and we'll go to full screen there we go okay so that's the, the gist of it you can also control the frame rate I usually leave mine set to auto uh, transition can be a hard cut dissolve fast medium dissolve or slow dissolve so I just it's defaulted to dissolve medium and that's what I keep it at aspect ratio you can you can set up put automatic and you can actually crop this but since um, since you also have the option to 
capture a selected area. That's what I would I would use that option instead of cropping. But the, the option to crop your video is is there as well. And again, IP camera URL, which you can add it's a little bit more complex and advanced. We'll, we'll hit that in a later later tutorial. But yeah, so we'll keep that the way it is. Now let's go ahead and add a separate camera. So it's as easy as just going to your modules, add and add camera. So it automatically numbers the cameras for you. This will be camera two. Right now it's not set for anything. But let, let's just go experiment a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do a another screen capture. But I'm going to capture uh, a, a selected area. And I'm going to do this again, yeah? Capture this gadget, the CPU monitoring gadget. So now transition. And if you notice, you just hit transition, and it goes back and forth. And it's doing that slow, or that medium dissolve, yeah. So it's pretty cool, yeah? And uh, also, let's go ahead and, since this is a camera, let's turn on my web camera, and I'll say hello to you guys. Hello guys, <laughs> how's everyone going out there? Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is transition. So it'll be full screen piece. Then I'll transition back to the desktop. And you get the idea, yeah? So as well, if you right click on uh, on the camera here, you can there's frame rates video resolution you can set usually set for automatic uh, you can capture it's pretty much all the same but let's do a hard cut so bam and this will be gradual the hard cut view bam so you get the picture right here right now so we got two cameras loaded and this is what the output will look like and we'll talk about that in, in a future video but basically this is your preview of what's happening and, and as I mentioned this is f the free version that's fully featured and the only thing you have here is this little little uh, corner image saying you know hey this is trial advertising this is a little advertisement saying hey check it out this is vidblaster maybe you might want to use it so pretty cool that they give you all the features and it's still only uh, they only penalize you with this little corner of the screen, little triangle triangle corner of the screen being used up. Okay, so now let's see. Next, we have a two camera shoot basically. You can transition, you know, I could go back to the screen capture thing, and I could transition to that. And with just two modules, I can even transition to this, yeah, go here to here, and then back and forth. It, it, keeps the previous capture in memory or the previous setting in memory so it's pretty flexible even with the two modules just clicking you could easily transition and maximize just two modules which will be very important for if you're using the home edition and you want to because uh, you're limited to only what is it five modules yeah, five modules. So you're limited, and the modules will include your viewer. And right now, this is three modules. Actually, I think it's. I'm gonna go check the website real quick. Time out for a second. VidBlaster. The products. VidBlaster Home. Seven modules. So it does give you seven modules here. Okay. So let's go back here. Um, so we got three now that only leaves us four more modules so if you become pretty uh, pretty good with this program you can actually with limited numbers with seven only seven modules you can really get a nice professional pro uh, video production out of this so I'm gonna add another module which is very popular and I'm kinda gearing this toward the the web streamer the internet streamer the person who wants to do a a show on the internet. So I'm going to add a video effects module. And I got to be careful that I watch my time because my YouTube account is uh, limited. So video effect. And this is a powerful module, but we're only going to look at one part of it. Okay, so I got I just like to keep mine in a row so it's really easy to transition quickly. Yeah. 
So let's go ahead and uh, add some content to this this video effects module number one. So first thing I want to do is there's two things I want you to look at: PIP picture in a picture and picture in a picture fixed as aspect ratio. This is the one I usually select, so uh, it keeps everything from not not looking like an old kung fu movie from Hong Kong with a really narrow face. Okay, so you set that up for picture in a picture fixed aspect ratio. And now you have your choice of uh, what to, to show. And what I'm going to do is put the background here, number one, camera one. That's going to be my first selection. And my picture in a picture window, which you can see here, is going to be my camera number two. And I'm going to go ahead and transition it. So you can see I now have a picture in a picture, uh, what you call it, a window. And this is awesome and perfect for, for streaming video games and video podcasts and other things like that. You can resize this window here. And it, because we use PIP um, fixed ratio, we can actually, it, it keeps the aspect perfect. If you change to just PIP, which I'll go ahead and do real quick, uh, you can actually, you know, make yourself look funky. So it doesn't maintain that aspect ratio that your camera is shooting out. So I'm going to go ahead and go back. And again, you can move it around wherever you like. And let me uh, mess around. I'll just put it in the corner here, right there. So just be aware that you, you, you know, this, this uh, mark here, this watermark on your video is going to be there. So, so don't put your, your face, you know, <laughs> don't cover your face or any, any pop, any main content that you want to show. Okay. So I think that'll be it for the first, for this, this second part of the tutorial. This, this will get you going. And remember the transitioning is just clicking on the transition button and you can set the transitions to be hard or soft. I'm gonna change this one back. I'm gonna do a uh, dissolve slow on this one. So let's go ahead and check that out. It's really slow. Then I'll do a transition on this one. Dissolve fast. So slow here, fast here, and I think that's medium. Let's check the transition. Yep, that's medium. So you, you get a general idea of how how this program functions. And um, right now. You uh, you can't really stream it, but but we're trying to learn the basics of it. The next in the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you the module that is most important for the streamer here. So, but we're gonna save that to the next show because we're running out of time on, on our YouTube limit. If we can get our channel opened up, we we could actually just do one long tutorial. But it might actually be better just to do section chunks of this this uh this program. So I'd like to thank you for uh, checking out my tutorial and head over to www.r32media.com and check out our other content. Peace. Bye-bye.